Scotland tonight. Uh, cooking for 19, I think, would be horrendous. Uh, as Ferb says, he doesn't want to stand all day peeling potatoes for 19 people. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to get the lady who owns the place to either chef for us or get somebody to come in four nights. It's something like we get there because we won't have any stuff anymore. The next night being a Sunday, I thought we'd have a sort of big party night on the Thursday, and then on the last night, there, which would be the Saturday night one, or the Friday night, or the last four nights. So for four nights we'll have meal there. The three other nights, in Tain there's all sorts of takeaways, there's fish and chips, and there's Italian, all sorts of stuff. And besides which, uh, I know Barry wants to go to the Orkneys, and you do. Definitely. So that's one day where we wouldn't be back for dinner anyway. Yeah. Right. Um, as far as breakfast is concerned, we'll buy the stuff to take with us for breakfast. And then people will just make their own as and when they get up. Because some people are a bit later than others <laughs> arriving at the table. Now if you if all you gotta do is knock on the door now, get up just like that. Um, I think that's it. Um, what, what Grace and I intend to do is, uh, possibly with um, Philip's help, because we'll have to take up the car, we'll take basic provisions with us, we'll buy them locally and take them, rather than have a big shop in the tin or somewhere when we get there. So at least, um, so we'll have a kitty like we have here. Uh, I've no idea what the meals will cost, but the girl that I spoke to said, it's about the same as going to a restaurant for a meal. So I think that's probably fair enough. That makes perfectly good sense. Pardon? Perfectly good sense. Yes, well, I, you know, cooking for 19 is... I don't think anybody wants to do that, really.